monster. I uh, opened this up for the first time like probably 12 hours ago. Had like only a few sips, put it in the fridge. Now that I'm about to work out, pulled it out, gonna finish it. Trying not to have so much caffeine, but I just can't stop consuming caffeine every day. Croissant for my pre-workout snack today. Some good carbs. Oh. This fly is bothering me. I had a chance to kill it, but I was too slow. I moved right before I made my move. Hate having flies in the house. Makes me pissed. He's back to bother me again, but back in arm day, feeling pretty sore. My legs are like really sore. I'm definitely not used to two leg days per week yet, but they're gonna grow, hopefully, since I'm bulking. And uh, I am used to training my legs hard, just not twice a week. So hopefully that extra day per week leads to at least some improvement. I think it will. Uh, but everything is at least a little bit sore. So probably a lighter workout today. I was trying to implement bent over barbell rows, but I just don't like it. Just kind of like the, the angle or just how the weight is when you're pulling it. I just don't like it. So I'll find some other row variation for my heavier rows. And there will be, you know, one more row. So I'll have two rows, two lap pull downs, and probably, probably gonna warm up with cable pullovers again. I think I did the rope attachment last time. So <clears throat> we'll grab the straight bar this time, we'll warm up with that. Kind of gets the back activated in a, a slight pump, so it is a great warm up. And then for arms, it's uh, train two, two tricep, two bicep. Always like the superset. Got to find probably one free weight movement and then one cable movement for triceps. So I'm trying to get that tricep strength up. Even when I do cable push downs, I'm still going heavy. My triceps are definitely getting stronger, and that's going to be key, especially as uh, in the next week I'll be benching 310 the next time I bench, then it'll be 340, and then hopefully a PR at 370. So that'll be, that'll happen on Sunday, Wednesday, and then next Sunday. So within that seven days, I'll be benching over 300 every day and then hopefully PRing. So gotta get the triceps kept up and strong for that. Biceps, we're just trying to pump them up, trying to get some good shape, try not to pull them. When I go a little too far down, it always feels like I'm, a, I'm about to pull a tricep. Don't wanna, or a, a bicep, I'm talking about biceps. It always feels like they're about to go, especially the left one. I don't know why, but I've been training my triceps care or my biceps carefully for a while now so they don't pull, so that left one doesn't pull. But I still want to get them, you know, better shape. I have like horrible shape. It's just like all mass. It doesn't even look good when I flex really. It's just mass, no, no shape on it. So I'm trying to train them in a way where I can get some stretch safely and get some good contraction on there so I can hopefully shape them a little bit. So that'll be my goal for triceps and biceps and for back it's probably going to be a lighter more deload type workout but you never really know until you start working out so i'll start working out see what kind of day we have it's kind of disgusting i can see my my sunburn peeling off out of the corner of my eye it's, it's super bad on my face because i didn't know if you were supposed to rub aloe vera on your face or not but i rubbed it on my other body parts so like my arms and my knees they're doing okay but like my forehead face it looks horrible i got my neck with the aloe vera too but i didn't want to make my face skin even more messed up so i didn't want to put it on there because i didn't know but let's go work out back and arms and my chest up even when my shoulders are kind of coming forward at the top chest up Squeeze all the way down. Keeping that spine straight helps me get a better lat contraction.
decided I'm gonna try some pull-ups. Haven't done pull-ups in a long time, and I'm both, so probably gonna be an embarrassingly low number of pull-ups done. But I'm gonna do two sets of pull-ups, only two sets because quality over quantity. And I feel like lately I've been doing too many sets, so just two working sets for these exercises today and maybe a warm up. Just like I thought, I can only do nine pull-ups, eight on the second set. Now I'm probably gonna do like a warm-up, feel it out type of set on single arm cable pull-downs, and then maybe two working sets. And the goal here is just gonna be, you know, lightweight, really good contraction. And this is like the best uh, lat exercise because you can really stretch and you can twist your body too. You can't do that with uh, with two hands. So single arm is the best. Got to get that big stretch, big contraction. That's the goal. doing a single arm already. I'm just gonna stick with it, but it's the lap pull downs because we did pull ups, lap pull downs. Now it's time for a couple row, different row variations. So single arm rows is next. Single arm rows are also great. Get some, uh, depending on how you pull, you can get more ladder, more trap. I'm kind of getting like that mid lower trap area with these, a little bit of lat too. But the way I'm doing it is like, even when my, my, my shoulder's coming forward, my chest is still up. That way I can get a good stretch, keeping that chest up even as the shoulder comes past the chest is key on these. And then I pull, I'm not like super tucked. I'm not like, super flared up here compared to when my arm is fully extended to my body i'm in between right in between there so like 45 degree angle for my body is where i'm pulling to to get the uh the feeling where i want to feel it on the muscle for what i'm doing today i want to try something different something i haven't been doing for the next exercise it's going to be a standing cable row so 
low to high standing cable rails, probably gonna use the rope attachment. Uh, these are really good. You can really get a good stretch on the way down. And then you can really arch your back and squeeze, squeeze that whole back on the way up. These are amazing, so it's a great way to finish off a back workout. Gotta get the tricep strength up. So first super set is gonna be, uh, we're gonna work up the heavy uh, dumbbell skull crushers. Get that tricep strength up. I don't know how heavy, but whatever's heavy for, for today. Super setted with probably straight bar cable curls. And then we'll do some sort of cable tricep push down. Super setted with probably dumbbell curls. the 50s. 50s were a struggle for eight, but struggle leads to strength, so it's always a good thing. One more super set left. Probably going to do three sets of each. I just did three sets of each of the uh, skull crushers and cable curls. Now we're going to reverse it. Uh, cable tricep pushdowns with dumbbell bicep curls. Going to finish off with a good pump. Those by Bicep curls with the cables are always really good. Kind of targets that outer part because the, the grip is closer, outer part of the bicep. Those skull crushers really have basically my whole tricep burning, so that's always a good sign. Got a nice arm pump going. Gonna finish off with a huge pump. Probably got like 20 inch arms right now. Arms have been getting really pumped really easy lately, so that's awesome. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be the workout. Gonna finish strong. Ugh. <sighs> 